Line Railroad or take the chairlift to fabulous Ghost Town in the Mile High Fun Park. Ride all the rides as often as you like. One admission price includes all rides and entertainment. Every minute is action-packed as you experience the excitement of the Old West. Ghost Town offers a day of fun and thrills for the entire family. See all the shows, ride all the rides for one admission price. Get set for the greatest in family entertainment. Hurry to Ghost Town in Maggie Valley, North Carolina, where the fun never stops. Well, hello again, everyone. Old George here. Well, I've been having a little bit more fun with Planet Coaster. Love this game. So I remade Ghost Town, Ghost Town in the Sky, which was located in Maggie Valley, North Carolina, back in the day. It actually opened up in 1961, and I've been to Ghost Town several times before the heyday of it closing down. Now, there were only two ways to get up to Ghost Town. It was the chairlift there, uh, which I was so excited that they got chairlifts in Planet Coaster, and then an incline. Now, we didn't have an incline, we don't have an incline in Planet Coaster, but I decided to use the people mover. It worked just as well. It was kind of fun watching that, but that's what the, this is what the incline looked like at Ghost Town. Now, of course, when you reach, finally reach the top of the mountain up there, the mile high mountain fun of Ghost Town, uh, you were in the little mining town village. And I believe that's the name they used as Mining Town. And of course, over to your left, you would be able to see the uh, new Red Devil roller coaster. And let me tell you how fun that was. It was quite something. Uh, it was built, uh, they added it in uh, 1986. Ghost Town actually was built in 19, or opened in 1961. But uh, the. Uh, Red Devil was, it was quite something, it was, a, it was, back in his day, it was so much fun, and uh, so I've got a little camera view here of what it was like to ride in the Red Devil. I can remember going down this hill, this, in, this uh, embankment right here, and it just picked up speed, and it just took in this loop just like nothing. I mean, it was so fun. I had never been on a roller coaster in my entire life, and this one was just absolutely crazy. And it overhung, or overhung on the side of the mountain, so you could see uh, Maggie Valley down in the, way down in the valley, and you could also see um, the Great Smoky Mountains as she was coming up. Now, it would come up the incline just like that. Now, years later, they had named, renamed it uh, they had uh, renamed it the Cliffhanger, from the Red Devil to the Cliffhanger, and they painted the entire uh, roller coaster yellow. But in my park, um, as if I've got billions of dollars to reopen Ghost Town, I'm going to name it White Lightning. And the reason for that is because my little village here is called Moonshine Village. It is no longer the mining town. I think Moonshine Village would be great because once you get off the cheerlift coming up that mile high mountain, you're going to need a little moonshine. So there's an actual map of uh, Ghost Town back in the day. And uh, there was uh, another way. Once you got into uh, Mining Town there off the cheerlift, you rode the bus on up to Ghost Town and all the rides. Um, and there was trails, walking trails up to the town of Ghost Town, but uh, nobody nobody used them hardly now this is how you as soon as you get off the bus you'd walk right into the town of ghost town and what a sight it was and a little train over there this was um, it was quite something to see this it just truly was and the town from what i understand right now is just decaying up there um you you hear rumors that there's people that's bought ghost town and hopefully are going to restore it to the back the way it was so that would be amazing it really would truly was would be this is the uh, ghost town railroad and that's kind of uh, that was the picture of the railroad of the train and uh, so i just added the train to the park here which turned out perfect because planet coasters train looks a whole lot like the little train at ghost town and the little train only had one railroad station and uh, it would circle around the uh, the whole little town and then um, 
come right back to the station there. My goodness, it was so fun to just be able to work with all these little things in Planet Coaster to create um, Ghost Town. And, uh, of course, this is the town right here, and this is uh, as you enter the town. Now, they had gunfights in the streets of, gun, uh, of Ghost Town, and um, I tried to re recreate the, the gunfight scenes, and uh, I, I still I need a little work on that. So Now, there's one thing I did try to re uh, recreate for sure was the Silver Dollar Saloon, and there's Miss Ellie in front of it. Now the Silver Dollar Saloon was much like the Last Chance Saloon of Frontierland, if you saw that video that I made. Uh, quite interesting, um, the developer, the builders uh, are the same builders that built Frontierland that built Ghost Town. Ghost Town actually opened first, and this was the Silver Dollar Saloon. And uh, The backdrop right there, I used the monitors and just added curtains there and the little tables. And I think this turned out pretty good. And I gotta tell you, if you'd went into the Silver Dollar Saloon in Ghost Town, you would truly, I really think you would truly enjoy it. It was quite a sight. Yeah, it definitely was a lot of fun rebuilding uh, Ghost Town. And I uh, tried to use as much of all the parts and pieces that I could find in Planet Coaster. Uh, they did have a little ice cream shop up there, and that is the other saloon, that's the Red Dog Saloon. Uh, the show wasn't as big as the Silver Dollar Saloon, but uh, it was still a nice little show. There's the little church. Uh, they actually had real services there um, every Sunday. And uh, going inside that little church was just amazing because it had a back window behind where the preacher would stand, and you could see the view of the Smokies behind uh, out that window and of course the little railroad and winds around I added some bears here which reminds me I can't wait to Planet Coaster I'm totally going to recreate Ghost Town with uh, Planet or Planet Zoo I'm sorry uh, it may not have the rides but uh, we're going to instead of rides we're going to uh, replace it with uh, zoo animals and I think that's going to be a whole lot of fun so and I tried to recreate the little train station as best as I could. Now, there was a little buffet um, restaurant up there, and I am not sure what the name of it was, but I called mine Aunt Connie's Buffet. And I used uh, one of the uh, little restaurant uh, boxes that you can get in Planet Coaster. Now, this is uh, right here. This I thought this would be a good idea. This little village where, the, where you go into the rides, I named it Hillbilly Village. Uh, being that you're at the top of the mountain there and uh, and I added one of the little shooting rides the shooting gallery ride and I thought that would be an amazing little uh, ride to uh, add to the park if uh, if somebody's out there listening with a whole bunch of money but look at this wouldn't this be awesome be at the top of the mountain and get on the ride and do a shooting uh, uh, game on the ride uh, it, I think that'd be oh, that'd be cool now this is part of the little village. I have no idea what these employees are doing. They're either walking off the job or they just, I'm not sure. They uh, they need to get back to work. Um, and then of course the, the ride area was out this direction from the town. Uh, and they had, uh, they had quite a few little rides, little carnival rides there. And they what made these amazing was that they were on the edge of the mountain. So I put the little car uh, on the edge of the mountain. I thought, my goodness, wouldn't that be something to have a little car ride on the edge of the mountain there? But they did. They had, um, they did have the uh, the dragon, the flying uh, Dutchman or flying dragon there, the ship. Uh, they had a six point shooter, which was a um, little swinging ride. They had, uh, they did have the roundup. They had the paratrooper ride also, which I was so glad that Planet Coaster added that to the game and um, and in this area right here they had like a little fort and I think it was called Fort Cherokee 
um, and they did have a and later on uh, they added a drop tower uh, it was a little small one but it was big enough to scare you though um, but this is what the view of what ghost town would look like from the rides area you see the little town over there and of course uh, the the uh, my white lightning uh, which used to be the red devil roller coaster there and uh, this is a view I mean when you were driving on the parkway down on the, in Maggie Valley you could look up the mountain and see ghost town and knew it was going to be awesome just to be able to go up there and boy, riding a cherry lift or taking the incline up to the top of the mountain was just am amazing because it was so beautiful up there you're way up there it's a mile high and um, getting off at the little village here it was just so exciting so but anyway this is my uh, recreation of ghost town in the sky and i hope you guys have enjoyed it I'm working on uh, Tweetsie Railroad in Blowing Rock, North Carolina, that park. And I'm also working on Santa's Land, which is located in Cherokee, North Carolina. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you will, subscribe and, uh, and give me a thumbs up. And you guys have a great day. Thank you.